again, let me recall the step-by-step -step procedure of how you can analyze charts in multiple time frames by the moving average. All right, here we go. So first, you look at the bigger time frame chart and capture the macro market environment. You focus on the direction of the moving averages, uh, whether they are all pointing towards the same direction or not. And also you check uh, the lines like a support or resistance and trend lines on this bigger time frame chart. Then you go down to the lower time frame chart and check the direction of the moving averages as well and see if they are all pointing towards the same direction or not. And also draw lines for further confirmations of the trading edge on the market, right? And also you look at the price action uh, of the lower time frame chart and also check if the price has been resisted or supported by the moving average because when it does, that can be another confirmation of the persistent trend. So make sure to check if the price has been resisted or supported by the moving average in the lower time frame chart. And also check if you see the moving average triangle as well on the market. Alright, so with that being said, look at this chart now. Alright, this part right here is the lower time frame of the circle C in bigger time frame. So what do you see now here? And first of all, the market has been continuously downtrend, right? So let me explain step by step here. Well, as you can see, first thing you can notice is that uh, this is a triangle range uh, formation here. Like uh, there's a trend line on this uh, yellow line. And also you can draw a blue resistance line here. So clearly this is the triangle in this lower time frame while the market is on the major bear trend. So when you see the chart pattern like this, you can expect that most likely the market is going to break to the downside, breaking this uh, yellow line downwards if the bear trend still persists in this bigger time frame. So you can prepare for a sell at this place after uh, the break or you can sell at the pullback high here. Also look at the moving average. In this lower time frame, after the market has been coming down, if you look at the short term MA, after it's coming down, it became horizontal here, right? Uh, the mid term MA and the long term MA are going down, but this short term MA is horizontal here. So in this case, what you can also expect is that the market might consolidate for a while. And after the consolidation, it might be resisted by one of these two MAs and continues the bear momentum. Well, in this case, before it touches the mid-term or long-term MA, the price just went downwards. But when you were looking at the chart within the range somewhere here, you can prepare for a sell when the price touches on either MAs and that could be a trading edge at that time. In this case, after the price broke this yellow line downwards, it came back up and now it's resisted by this uh, yellow line. And also the price level matches with the long-term and mid-term MAs. So that gives you more confirmation that the price might go down from this point. So this point right here was also a great sell chance here. So remember, when you look at the bigger time frame and when you see all the moving averages, the short and mid and long term are pointing all down, when you see that kind of uh, setup on the market, that means the market is a steady bear trend. And in that case, you only look for a place to sell. And especially in this case, the price is below the short term MA, meaning the bear energy is quite strong here. So never think of buying it. Only look for where you can sell by looking at this bigger time frame first. Then you look at the smaller time frame with the th three moving averages. And when you also see they are all pointing downwards, that means the market is on the strong bear momentum. Or when you see only one MA, uh, the short term MA is horizontal and the rest of two MAs are going down, that means the market is consolidating short term, meaning it could be resisted by the other two MAs and the market may continue to the downside. And for further confirmations, you can also draw lines or look, uh, look at the candle patterns and price actions to find the selling edge on the market. Alright, so in the past three videos, I have been explaining how you can identify the market trend and take trades by looking at the moving averages. 
Uh, this is a very simple technique, but if you master this, your trading record will be much improved because not only you find the best place to enter the market, but more importantly, you can also extend the profit as much as possible.